The overall goal of this procedure is to produce protist enrichment cultures from the Antarctic Lake Bonnie and measure carbon fixation as part of an initial proxy for metabolic diversity. This is accomplished by first sampling lake water depths in Lake Bonnie that correspond to known peaks in protists and phytoplankton. The lake water samples are then inoculated into various growth media and incubated in a growth chamber equipped with a temperature regulator and lights for four to six weeks. The cultures can be transported as needed at four degrees Celsius. The next step is to extract crude cell lysates from the enrichment cultures. The final step of this procedure is to assess carbon fixation potential in the cell lysate using a radioisotope assay for ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase, or Rubisco activity. Ultimately, the protist enrichment cultures show a variation of carbon fixation potential in the natural protist community. This method can help us answer key questions regarding lake microbial ecology, for example, the role of microbial eukaryotes in carbon cycling at various depths in stratified Antarctic lakes. Although water column sampling for subsequent generations of enrichment cultures is a frequently used technique, this method contains modifications to operate in an extreme cold environment where unforeseen complications can occur. I first had this idea for this method when I was thinking of ways to test the Rubisco assay in natural lake samples. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the sampling steps are difficult to imagine because the sampling sites are in an environment foreign to many researchers.